Away from the delivery of efficient, seamless, and cost-effective port operations is crucial to Nigeria's achievement of maritime hub status. Nigerian Ports Authority's managing director said this while assessing the nation's ports. TVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. Nigeria's ports are governed and operated by the Nigerian Ports Authority. While speaking on issues impacting the nation's ports, Mohamed Belokoko, the managing director of the Ports Authority, noted the rapid improvement in port operations, but stressed the need for improvement of critical infrastructure at this time, particularly the reconstruction of Tinkan Island Port Key Walls and rehabilitation of other ports. What we have been doing were palliative works, trying to manage the situation. But you know, it has gotten to a situation where we feel palliative works are no more tenable. So what we did was to do uh, an authority wide on the need and uh, need assessment, where we checked uh, the infrastructure and um, we took a decision that it is time we fully rehabilitate and reconstruct those port locations. So Tinkan is the one that is in a worse state, a terrible situation, and uh, we believe it is time to reconstruct and rehabilitate Tinkan. There are some keys also in Apapa that need rehabilitation. The same thing in Wari, in Calabar, in Onia, in virtually all the port locations. And uh, our assessment shows that we need about $800 million in order to be able to rehabilitate uh, these port locations. He says that duplication of duties by several agencies contributes to port problems, preventing efficiency and aggravating delays. This, according to him, as to the cost of doing business at ports. Furthermore, he explained that contrary to industry reports, the Port Authority has not increased tariffs for 30 years. The last time the Nigerian Post Authority increased its tariff was in 1993. If you check the rates and tariff, uh, as at 1993, surprisingly. It was in 2012 or 2014, the Nigerian Post Authority increased the cost of towage. But every other tariff has remained as it is since 1993. Now, the cost of doing business in the ports, yes, could be high or could be increasing, but it's not attributable to the rates and tariffs on Nigerian Ports Authority. What we did in 2012 or so was to harmonize the tariffs, merge them, because there were so many. So if you are looking for our tariffs, you find so many broken down into pieces, and what we did was to merge them. To address prevailing challenges in port operations, he reveals that a relentless drive is underway to deploy the port community system through full automation. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.